piden que se... Yeah. Okay, we spoke about last week um, the law of, of opening packages. So we spoke about there's many different surum that can be involved in opening packages. So last week we spoke about the Isra of Soyser and how we take care of the problem of Soyser. We spoke about either summer shining them hold that even a clee, rea, a strong clee, there's no problem to destroy it. And there's always a Soyser on that, other shining them hold, and we pass it that way, that it's only multiple by clee, and clee mistuki means that it's a shracha clee, it's a weak clee, it's made of shivri klicharis. But we mentioned from Shlomo Zalman that he says, that any kelly today that the derech is to throw out after the usage, that also has a din of kli mustaki. And then he said over as far from Moshe, that he says that the head would be based on chesolois, that since the kli, the purpose of the kli is to hold the food until you have it, until you use it, so blind by pill, like egg oils, that you're allowed to break it open to get the food, that the cowboy says that wouldn't be a problem. That was what we spoke about last week. Today I want to discuss another aspect of the opening of packages. What happened to the problem of Korea? There's a, there's a malach of Korea. So before we get into the problem of the Israel of malach of Korea, let's first talk about on what type of things is the malach of Korea. I mean, obviously, if you want to rip a big um, paper bag, a plastic bag, obviously, there could be a, a malach of Korea. The question is, what happens if you have a can? You have a tuna fish can, and you have a bottle, you're breaking it open. Is there a malach of Korea on a hard object? So in Sforu, how do you say that on a hard object shouldn't be any Moloch of Korea? Remember, this is a Minchas Chinuch. Minchas Chinuch and Moloch is Korea. All he says is like this. Ze poshet. This is poshet. Le nikri tatoi for Korea. Rat mit dvorm harakin. Oi oi reis the dark and lit for. The Moloch of Korea is only by something like something that's soft. Like or something that the derech is to be taifer. The Moloch of Korea is the opposite of taifer. Taifa means you connect things together, you sew things together. And Korea is you rip it. You have an R, a piece of R that the derech is that you type it together, or a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be you type for it. The Moloch of Korea is also a Vorn Shokhan Arch, Simen Shem Mem. If you medabic Niyaris with glue, so that's Korea, is ripping it apart. But it's not the derech to, to, um, to when you have a cane, when you have something on a hard surface that he, that you use a Moloch of Taifer. And he says, and the reason is, even though maybe you could say just you're connecting it, however you're connecting it, that's called Taifer, but he says, since the Malachos, we learn from the Mishkan, and the Mishkan, the Malacha of Taifer was with Urias, so we only do more to that, that's considered the Malacha of Korea Taifer. That's what the Mishkan says. So it comes out according to the Mishkan, there would be no Shiloh of Korea on when you're dealing with a uh, tuna fish came or something else. The only issue would be when you get uh, the problem of Sisa, which we spoke about last week. But there is an interesting Bialocha. This Bialocha is in Simish Shim Mem, Sifi Dalit. They say that if someone's Medabic aids baits, that means you connect one piece of wood, one twig, and one piece of wood with another piece of wood, I they devak. It means glue. They glue it together. He says, Yechayev because of Teufer. And it means the Raya. Because the Gemara Dafayim Dalit speaks about if someone makes, um, someone makes a, 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 out of a, a caveris, it's like a basket. Thirteen chatois. She explains what what the chatois are. And one of the chatois is that uh, of the konim together. So he says you see clear that bimadabik eight for eight is a problem. That's what the Mr. Buru says. That obvious question is. So according to Mr. Buru, when you build a house, so I use the malach of boyna, the chayy should have a malach of tayfer. Because I have the the stones and I put cement in between. So you always be high about typhoon also. We don't find such a thing. There it is, typhoon is only when it's a soft material that the derech is to be typhoon like it was in the Mishkan. We Urias. I, the Mishnah Buris, Raya from Kaveris. So from Zalman says over there, we're talking about it was made out of cotton, it was made out of reeds. Reeds was something that derech was. They used to be typhoon together. It's a soft material. My saying eight spades, you don't have. Like a part of what comes out is, the Mr. Bura, if we understand the Mr. Bura, not, but the Mr. Bura says that even of a hard surface, the Mr. Bura seems to understand that there could be a malacha of Korea, and because Chinuch holds Korea is only something soft that would be daima to art. So it comes out, according to the Mechaz any soft material 
let's say a plastic bag, plastic a paper bag, we would have an issue of Kareya besides the problem of Saiser. Mashenkin, according to Mr. Buru, will come out even a can, we have to deal with this of Kareya. So the question is, how do we take care of this of Kareya? How would it be mutter to open up these things, even if you're going to rip it, but that's a malach of Kareya? So the answer to this question is, it starts with a Tesefta. There's a Tesefta that state in the Tesefta Perigizayin, state Kareya Odom as Or Shapir Chovesh Yain. That means you have a Chovesh Yain, and there's a piece of Or that's spread out on top of the Chovesh. So it says you let her rip it. As long as Loyis Kavalas is Zinuk, means you made like a cleat, it says the Shogun explains. This the Seft is brought down in the base Yosef and Shin Yudal, and the Mogad Rom, and the Mishabur brings it down in Sifkot and Chofei. So it says there's a header to rip the Or of Yechovesh. So we have a clore to the Seft, and it says you let her rip it. The obvious question is, what is the hetter? Until we know what the hetter is, obviously you can't tell the two to anywhere else. Because if it, the hetter is based on a certain fact, so then you can't tell two to anywhere else. So first we have to understand what the Pshan Tesefta is, and then we'll be able to see how we can apply it practically to other cases. So before we get to that, we have to really get to another Shiloh. When someone rips open a bag to get the food, when someone, according to Mr. Bura, someone breaks a can to be able to get the food inside, Someone breaks a box, a curious box, to be able to get the food inside. Is that Kareya a child of the Raisa? Better? Or that Kareya, before get them with the Heta to do it to get food? But are we dealing with a child of the Raisa or are we dealing with a child of the Rabbana? Obviously, when you're dealing with a child of the Raisa, it's a much more common than a Or we're dealing with a child of the Rabbana. So to, to, to explain, if we're dealing with a child of the Raisa or Rabbana, we have to ask ourselves two questions. First of all, there's a child of the Shainim. What's the Aloha? If for the Moloch of Kareya, do you have to be Kareya Amanas Litvar or Kareya Amanas Lasakin is enough? That means, does the Kareya have to be Amanas that you can be sakin it, that you can be tied for it afterwards? It means they're ripping it to make the Tfiri afterwards, the Moshe of the Mishkan. A lot of times they ripped the Ureas because they had to fix it. Maybe it was it was too spread out, so they had to, or there was a hole there. So they made a bigger hole there, and then they put the hole together, and they were tied for together. So the, from a lot of Kareya, they have to be Dafka Amanas Litvar. Or as long as the Kareya is Amanas Lasakin, that's good enough. The Shaila means is Nigea many Malochis. Moichik is have to be Moichik Amanas Lichtoi. Give me Nigea Soiser, Soiser Amanas Litvar. So we're not going to go into our Malochis because it's possible that, the, that every Malochik can be different. But let's discuss Kareya. If Kareya is Amanas Lasakin or Amanas Litvar. If you hold Kareya has to be Amanas Litvar, it's obviously we can't be dealing with Shav Dereis here because here the Kareyas are Amanas Litvar. The Kareya over here is to rip it and to leave it ripped in sheds and then you throw it into the garbage. But if you hold that Kareya, Amanas Lasakin could be a problem, now we get to the second child you have to address. Is this called a ticket? If I rip a big, not because I want the big ripped for whatever ticket I have, which then could be a Shav Dereis, but I'm, let's say I have a piece of a big and I want, let's say, a tissue. And I want to a, a, a roll of tissues and I, I don't want the whole roll. I want to use half of it. So I cut in half. So that could be a question of Korea. I'm an Asasaka because I can't use the whole piece of tissue. I want half of it. But over here, if I can't, I don't want the, this thing here. I'm trying to rip it to get the food inside of it. Is that called a taken? Because the soy posik is by me, by me being Korea over here, now I have my food. So maybe that's called a ticket. We say that's like a zayte gazach. In the, the big itself that I ripped, there was a total destruction. That's the shayla. So let's first address these two shaylas to know if we're dealing with a shayla of the rice or bonon, and then we can get back to our shayla. So I'm going to get the first shayla. Are we dealing with a shayla of the rice of mitzad kareya has to have a tie of manas litvor or manas asak? So that means there's a big machayi to shayla on the shayla. But we have a first halach in Shulchan Aruch. Mechaber in Shulchan Aruch, Simen Shem Mem, Sif Yedalad, says like this. Have a farik nioris tavukis. Someone who takes a pot, um, nioris, that's a piece of paper that we're dovuk together with, let's say devuk. Oi, oris tavukim, that it was connected, uh, pieces of oris tavukim. Beloi neskaven lekalkul bevad. He wasn't meskaven lekalkul, he was trying to destroy it. How is that? Told us karei v'chai. He told us karei v'chai. Zok the Bial Locha, Koza Loshan Rampa, Umashma Bebir Daitoi, the Hadi Bin Begamar Kreamas Litfor, 
is mishum de v'lavochi avil mekalkel. That means it didn't have kareem nas litva just a chetim so that it shouldn't be mekalkel. Avil im is gavil it tzorich is a dover ticken. Avil mechav and shleim nas litva chay because in this case over here it doesn't say anywhere in shulchan aruch that when you when you broke apart in a yoris that you did a manas to be tifered again. The shulchan aruch says one tonight that you were mechavil mekalkel. So the bialocha says it's clear from the shulchan aruch over here that we paskin that kareya does not need a tonight of nas litva. The Amanas Litva is just a chetimtso that it should not be mekalko. But if you kareya with a purpose of tikkun, for whatever purpose of tikkun you have, that you want to divide this piece of ar, the Mishabura says, Yechayev Chatos. There's a Morgan Avram in Shin Yud Zayin, Sifkot and Yud, that it brings a Beis Yosef and a Kesem Mishnah, that it brings a Ritfot, a Ritfon Makis, that's a Mavur, that no, you have to have Amanas Litva. But if it's Amanas Lissakin, it's not a shaila of his derisa. And the Bialoch over there is Mayrich to be Matmiya on this Morgan of Rome, and he brings so many Makoiris that La Locha, we pass in the Amnasla Sakin is good enough. And based on that, the Mishabura Paskins that someone's Kareya Amanasla Sakin is Chayv. That means even if it's not Amnas Litva, as long as it's not considered a kilpa. So the gear, the first shaila we had, if someone rips a big, if this considered a ticket, if that's a is it the rice or, or no, because it's a manas, it's not a manas lit. For the answer is as long as it's considered a ticking, that would be a shadow with the rice. But now we have to address the second question is when you're ripping a big, so sometimes ripping a big because you want to let's use half the big. Yeah, someone's in the bathroom and he wants to rip a tissue, a roll of tissues, and he wants to use it. So that could be a shadow of cream and a But over here, is that called a ticking? Do we say that since I want to get the soy pasta gives that the only way for me to get the food is by destroying this bag, ripping this bag. So maybe it's called a ticket. We say, no, it's, a, it's not a ticket in the bag. In the bag itself, it's a destruction in the bag. It happens to be your tackles and destruction is a ticket to get the food. But does that make that the, the ripping of the bag itself is considered a ticket? So this Shiloh was a Shiloh that was the Shiloh was like this. In those days, Everyone knows the Matthias was, people didn't have ovens in the house. So where they used to bring the cholent? They used to bring the cholent to the baker, the baker or whoever else it was. And then the problem was, many times the baker, or baker was a Goyish baker, or was the Yiddish baker, but there was a place that were going there. And the problem is that we, we notice Alochus and Simon Kofiat Ches, that if someone's mafkid, be out a Goy, Bosser, or something else, there's Aloch of Chaisomis. So there's a question in the price game, how many chesomas do you need? I'm not going to get into the style of chesomas, that's not our noisa. There was a machaikis if you need one chesom or two chesomas. So if you chodesh in your day, semi kuf yud ches, sef ches. So he speaks about, benegeo, ta tanurim, shal goyim, he's talking about a goyim shepeh, keshemat, binim be macham be shabbos, he's talking about the cholim. He sagi bi chesom echo, o shle chesomas. So he explains that the metzius was, how did they make the two chesomas? The metzius was, they, tur- they um, wrapped around on the yard a piece of paper on the on the minnow, means on the lock, the opening of the tanner. And then they connected the two ends of the yard with, um, with, 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 let's say, glue or something. On top of that, they made a choice and made some type of seal. He doesn't say exactly what they did. Maybe the seal that they did was the state in Shulchan Aruch. They wrote words there, Yiddish words there. I don't get how, how they did it, but that was the shail. The question was, are you allowed to rip it on traps? So he says that Bemis is that you only need, whatever the case was, he holds you only need one chaisim. And if you only need one chaisim, you don't have to do it in this way. And you could do it in a way that it wouldn't be necessary to rip. But he brings down that there was, there was Moirim, the word Rabonim, the Paskin, Lahachmir, and they held, they have that two chaisamis. And Melo, they made the chaisim in a way that you have this in the order. And the only way to get it was that the people, the Yidden that came on Shabbos, they had to rip this. And this way they, they, they saw it was whole. They know that the guy didn't touch it. So they had to rip it on Shabbos. So he says, this Hayro, this Hayro, that this Rabban uh, Paskin, is to move Einai. Shanim tzor chumroi kulosai. The chumro that this, this, these Moya Hayro, these, these Rabban wanted to do, that they wanted to be machmir, that in this scenario, you need two chaysamis. It came out of kula. Because of that, they were matter for the year on Shabbos to rip this in the yard. So that they killed the Pshita, so the Prichodesh. 
the kilku v'kriyas on the yob is Shabbos k'day leftoich atanor. I'm ripping the piece of the yob k'day to open atanor. Lo imikri mekalkol alim esakin u'malocha hasuri b'Shabbos. And he still through that halach, this Rambam, this halach in Shulchan Aruch, that it says that someone breaks the yobis. But in his kavan lekalkol, how is it told his kareya? So he says over here also, this is not called a kilko. He says, Over here, he's ripping this New York today to be able to get into the tanner and get his food. That's a ticket. And Melchizedek Pichodesh says that it's Issa Deraisa. And he says, even with a guy, you can't do it. Because there's no head to, to, we find his head to sometimes for the Shabbos. If you need a child, we mutter. We have a loch and shin chafei. Say, if you we mutter, tell a guy to do a maloch and abon, to shvost to shvost to mitzvah. But here it's a question of is it the rice? He says, even with a guy, it would be yasser. Why? Because, first of all, like we said before, that's a in the Rambam, we pass him that way, that Kareya Manasasakin is a Shiloh of a the rice. First of all, and the second point is, it says, ripping it to be able to get in the food. That means I have a, a chaisim around the tanner and I'm ripping it to be able to get the food. That is called the iser. The rice, because that's called a ticking, because the only way for me to get the food is by ripping that. It's called a ticking in the in the New Yorks. There's a tshuva in the Chacham Tzvi, similar Mates, that he brings down this Pichodesh, and he says it's double portion that it's not, it's not true. He says that, and, and the Pichodesh says that it's even also the Akum, he says it's the Pelo, he says, Toz Gomer, Vishor Mori. He asks something that's mutter. That means what's mutter is the kriya. He asks something that's mutter. The hit is also. He was mad to something that's also. That means the prichodim says that you only need one chaisim. He says not true. You need two chaisimus. He says I was married in a different place. And he says the He says that I was mechiach the prichodim on this zak. When he was by us, the, the Chacham Tzvi was a rov in Amsterdam, and and the Pichodesh Meisters was over there. Rabbi Gadisman told me that he was there. He came from Eretz to collect funds for for um, for the Moshe for the Moshe of Eretz and he was in he was in Amsterdam, and that's when he was printing the sefer. And the Chacham Tzvi saw this psak that he wrote over there, and he was mechirchim al ponov that this psak is wrong, and he said he was he was quiet. And Savi didn't answer him. He didn't want to. He didn't want to uh, answer the Chachamsi. He was older than him. He didn't want to answer. Mark upon him, but I don't think the Pichodesh was chayzev of his psak. Mark upon him, the Chachamsi holds that it's not true. It's not a shail of the rice. And how's not a shail of the rice, though? It's mother to do. And you look and there's a true and shail is yaivitz. Also, it's brought down the shail true and shim and shen zayim. That's the Chachamsi's son. That also is my rich and abadah's poshit. That is not a problem. So we have a yusayistic shail here. Is ripping. A big ripping something to get food is that taken or kilkel? And obviously, it can be big enough. Came in. So, first, we have to understand what is this machaikis between the Pichodesh and the Chachan Tzvi. So, it's the Prima Godim and Seven Ration on Gimel that seems to imply that the Pichodesh is based on the Shita of the Rambam. The Rambam holds the Malach Shen Sichel Guf is Chayavullah. The Machaikis Malach Shen Sichel Guf is Chayavullah of a Nat has to do it when if you do Malach and not for the purpose of the Mishkan. For a different reason, for example, someone's a tzad as a nochosh, not because I want the skin, but I don't want him to be mazik me. Is that cool? Is that is the rice or not? Another case, another case is if someone is kareh bechamosay, he rips something bechamosay, that he's not doing for the tachlis of the ripping, that it should be a ticking, whatever he wants to get in the piece of paper, but he's doing it because he wants to calm his. You know, he's nervous, he got very upset, and by ripping the paper, it's going to calm him down. So, the Prima Kodim says, the Prima Kodim can never go on the Ram Shita, the Malach Shem Shichel Gufa, is Chayav Olav, and mainly held, this considered, even a tick in Malach Macher, not directly in the paper, that's already enough. Why is the Chachem Tzih argue? So, Chachem Tzih maybe goes like a Pshim, the Malach Shem Shichel Gufa, is Potter. And then, if you look in the Bialoch Shemem, seems to apply that that's Kuvur Machoikis. This Machoikis, if it's considered a ticket or not, is totally on bad. Members look in the Gemara in Shabbos Kuvav, it's a Shukamashma, that you have a ticket Mokamachir, Moshe Kareba Chamosoi, that Machoikis 
is totally machlekes if you shimon. So it could be this was the machlekes. Mamis of Shulchan Aruch and Shin Tezayin Sifches brings down the machlekes around the Mother Shine. So maybe that was the machlekes. It would be a lochi and stood that way. But Bemis, there's a chayodam in this Masad and Kalachov test that says that really, even according to Rabbi Yehuda, there wouldn't be a problem. Why? Because even with Rabbi Yehuda, Kareba Chamosoy, he says, What's the ticket that I have? The ticket that I have is the fact that I take this piece of paper and rip it to shreds. The ripping of the paper to shreds, that was calms me down. The destruction of this piece of paper calms me down. So it comes out, even though it's not the Tachas on Malacha, but since I have a, a ticket in the fact that this paper gets destroyed, so that's considered a ticket according to the Sheikh Rabbi that Malacha Sheikh Gufo is Chayovala. Now, Shengen over here, there's no ticket bechlal the paper. The paper is just something in my way to get to the town. So he says, even according to Shita of Yehuda, the Chayyadah, the Prichodesh, would, would, uh, would be wrong. Um, Bemis, Bemis really, we have a Mishnah. We learned Shai Vodim Sechavis. We spoke about last week. They lived the many Gregors. Rashi over there says, we mentioned last week, Rashi says that it's a Makalko. The Shai Vodim Sechavis, the Chayyadah, why is it a Makalko? Who cares if it's Makalko? Makalko, the Chayyadah, we normally don't find his mother. So, according to the Prichodosh, why is this considered a Makalko? If the, by breaking this thing, that's from, the way for me to get into the food. Lachar should be considered a ticket. That's what, that's what he asked on the sheet uh, of the, the Prichodosh. Now, Bamis, we spoke about last week that the Achoyim learned Pshat and Rashi a little bit different. The Rashi doesn't mean Makalko. Rashi means Makalko means the Rashi the Shitose that holds Embin Yastir Bekalem. And the only problem is when you make it clear, it's Makapatish. But there's no reverse of Makapatish. The point of people got understood Rashi keep truth like the Rashaim, and he is to, from here on the Kasha on the Prichodesh. Makapatish, so the Prichodesh is a Shita that needs a beer. We're not going to go back and get to explain Pshan the Prichodesh. But what comes out is, Echshiyah the Prichodesh holds that if someone is carrying a paper, a manas to get to the food, that is considered a Maisa ticket since the Sayyid Posak is that. That's the only way for me to get it, and that's called a ticket. And the sheet of the Chacham Tzvi is not that way. And the Chacham Tzvi holds that it's considered a Maisa Kyoko. The question is, the Machoik is Tali Machoik is a bit of Shimon, or even like the Behuda, it would be considered a Kyoko. If you say the Pichot is based on on Behuda, Sheet of Lachshin Sikufa, Chai Oven Love, then the Chayyur Lalach, we pick, we pass in Lachshin Sikh Lagufa, is Potter. So that would be a Stuck of on the Pichot. But it seems to be that there is a Malak to learn the Pichot. Even according to the Shita, the Amalach Shein Tzeich Lagufa is part of the stuff. For some reason, this would be um, this would be a pro- this would be a, a problem. I got upon him. So, but what what comes out with the Reino is that someone is Kareya a Masa Sakras is the right. But if someone is Kareya a Manas to get food. If that's called a Tikin, we have a Machlekes Pichodosh and the Chacham Tzei. According to Pichodosh, it's a is the right. According to the Chachmas Tzvi, it is Rabbanon. So now, getting back to the Sefta, Kareya or Pichavis, we want to know, are we dealing with a Shal of the Raisa, or are we dealing with a Shal of Rabbanon? According to the Shita Pichavis, we're dealing with a Shal of the Raisa. Because it's, he called this is considered Kareya Mas, the Sakit. But according to the Shita of the Chacham Tzvi, we're dealing with a Shal of Rabbanon. So now let's get back to, try to explain, what, what is the header of Kareya or Pichavis, now that we know, this this D and if we're dealing with Shav the Ice Rabbah. So Kanira this I guess we'll call a former Halkim Nagdoila Khwainim. I don't understand what this had to would be. Some would work even like the Bikhadj and some would only work like the Khachim. See and we'll see the big a big nafkimina between the Alchim and where you could apply these at The first Mahalakh is in Ramosha, that big truva in Archaim Khaila Kalif, Simakov Khabes, where he goes to the whole Sugi Mamish Lorkal Rachboy, and he says that it, the hetero is based on the alcohol, and he says that since even though the only way for me to get the food is by ripping this, that's still considered a maisa kokol, and he brings many rayas to that. And he taka says, not like the pichodosh, it's based on the shita of the chacham tzi, even though betzim is a kalkal and kalkal normally chazal acid, but his mouth over here, here the Torah Shabbos, chazal, or mekel, I, the Roshayim, Mocha, and Rashi, so he speaks about it over there. I am shop. Like upon the Ramesh's head is based on that the head to be Kareya or Pichavis is when you're ripping it by Fin When you're ripping it by Fin Kilkul, Chazal will matter 
Lutzorich Shabbos to get the food. That's what Moshe says. That you find the place to be a locker brings it down. That let's say you have a letter and you want to open up on Shabbos, it's a word's also. So it could be a question of is it the rice? Because I'm opening it up to be able to see what's inside. According to Chachim, it's only Shabbat. But Ramesha says, but the Chayyit's wife in Kilko. So it should be a, uh, it, should, it, it should be Mutter according to what he's saying. He said, that's not called Tzorik Shabbos. But this, this Malach would not be Mahalach for the Shita of the Pichadosh, because the whole Malach is based on that we're starting with a Makalko. The second Malach is the Chazanish. The Chazanish is also going that we're dealing with something that's not a Shiloh of the Raisa. We're dealing with a Shiloh of Makalko. And he says, big Yisod, the Chazanish says many, many places. But the Yisod, he says, is that we don't see that the pool that he's doing is a Malacha. Because since the Tachas, what I'm doing is just a Chetimtza to get the food there, and the, the ripping of the of the wrapper is just like a to get to get the, the, the item out of my way. That's a svoro that that's not considered a maiso kriya. He has a time to learn that would be the hetter even by by the shayval and the also that we don't look at it as a maiso tira. I'm just trying to get the the shavas out of the way. So he holds that that's not considered a maiso kare. Now it's only based on based on that that it's a Maisa Kilko. Since I'm just trying to get rid of this thing, it's in my way, That's a, that, that will be the Hatha. So he says, but it's only based on, it doesn't bring the Chachim Sin Pichodesh, he says only based on that we're dealing with Shal Drabon. About if we're dealing with Shal Drabon, about he can't say such a svar. But since we're only dealing with Shal Drabon, so therefore we, we, we look at the pool that you're doing, is not a Maisa Kareya, it's a Maisa trying to get the food out of here. Chazanish says such a such a svara, there can be other places that give it a dugma. Chazanish says there can be mukta. He says such a thing. There's halacha. There's halacha in 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 the Gemara and Shabbos Kufman Beis that speaks about boyer boyer pesayis ma'ichel ma'ichel pesayis. And Chazanish muches talks about kidney is there that lechayra. Why is there a problem of mukta? If you get about boyer, why is there a problem? Boyer is obviously mochama. What happened to the mukta? The problem. So he says since I'm only doing it to clean out. The Eichel, we don't look at it as a mice of total mux, so just a mice of Nikoi. Because it has such musogam. But the, obviously, these musogam are gonna, only going to work when you're dealing with a Shal Drabonim. This is a Shal of the Gedorim of Drabonim. And the rice level is not going to work. So, but, but he's going like the Pichodesh. I mean, the Chachim Tzvi, that we're dealing with a Shal of Kilkul. It's only Shal Drabonim. And then we have this for it. So we're, we're Chazanish goes different than Ramayisha. Just that Ramayisha says that that even though Betzim is a Kilkul and Kilkul no Mechazal Asid, he the Tzorch Shabbos Chazal Mekul. Chazish learns that it's not stam ahead on Kyoko. Since it's only Shal Rabbanon, Samela, since the pool that I'm doing is not a pool of Korea per se, it's just trying to get the, the rapper out of my way. So Chazal didn't weren't match with this as a Maisa Korea. But the bottom line is Silent Ramosh and Silent Chaznish, we have to work with that we're dealing with Shal Rabbanon because it's Kyoko. There's another Mahalach. There's another Mahalach Pshat in this Sefta. There's a Shulchan Ocharav. The Shulchan Ocharav, this is in Shem Mem Sif Yedzayin, says like this Mishum is a Kareya, ain't a Chayev, Ella Kishakareya, Umafish Gufim Rabbim Shenis Kabru, Kain Kareya Begger or Mechutam Arba. Is a Kareya is only when you have something, two items that were connected, and you're ripping it apart. For example, you have a Begget. A Begget was made up of many strings, and you sewed it together. Then the kareya is doing the opposite of the toifer. But he says, but if you have an, uh, uh, something that was a guf echot, and you're ripping it, that is no maloch of kareya. And he says, for example, or if you have a piece of, or a piece of skin, no one ever connected a piece of skin. That's, it was always one piece. So it was never came as one with the Moloch of Taifer, then there's no Moloch of Korea. And if he is Umitamze, based on this, you saw that I said, Umitamze, Mutla Kroy or Shapir Chobesh Yang, where she saw the Messim and Shinidal, that's at the Sefto, Besha or Gufechot, Boishaich is a Korea, Elo is a Chito. That means if he is Machavan, a certain Mido, we had a cut, and it could be a Shiloh Machatech. But if you're not having that, there's no problem of Korea. 
So the Shulchan Aruch Rav says, "Mardi Gichidish that the Malach of Kareya is only when you had two gufim that were connected, and now I'm separating them. But a guf echot to rip into pieces is not the Malach of Kareya. So according to Shulchan Aruch Rav, we have a whole new Malach to understand Pshat into the theft of Kareya or Pichavas. The head of Kareya or Pichavas is since we're talking about or or is something that was one thing. They look come out. There wouldn't be any problem." There wouldn't be any problem to rip it apart. He bemis he his mramas did bemis he answered not a kash because there's a lochan shulchan aruch that says in in shemem that if you carry a piece in New York, if you don't have a ticket in yichayiv I'll I'll take in like my mishra voice is taking on the question is why in yichayiv mitzat kareya shulchan aruch I mentioned before talks about kareya when you would not become New York's biachat I mean you have a piece of paper and you glue them together and now you're ripping them apart that's kareya. But Shukhanoch already speaks about another case that you had a, ripping a piece of paper by itself. And that's a mafur over there that's only a problem at Tikamon. So Bialoch has a big reichus about there to answer this question what happened to the problem of Korea. So Shukhanoch Rav says, you know why there's no Korea? Because New York was one piece. If it, there was no typher. Since there was no typher, there's no problem of Korea. So according to this Mahalach of Shukhanoch Rav, that would be an eight even according to the, that would be an eight even according to the Pichadosh. It's Mahalach. Why? Because according to Pichadosh, even though this is the Raisa, it doesn't make a difference. But the Shulchan is telling you that this is the Raisa of Kireya is only something that was neschabed together with Taifer. But if it was neschabed together, it was bad in one piece, there's no Malacha of Kireya. Now, it could be the Pichadosh happens to be always on the Shulchan at this point, because the Pichadosh does talk about ripping New York. So it doesn't sound like Zafka ripping it to look up his lush from there. If you're talking about Zafka and you're ripping it in the, in, the, in the spot that it was connected, it doesn't sound like that. One second. No, so maybe, maybe, maybe Taka means that you're ripping it in the, in the, in the, in the place that you connected it. It says you adopted the yours together. Maybe in the Khrami. But if you just ripped in the yon, not the place you connected, it comes out, it wouldn't be a problem. I guess you couldn't do that. I'm not sure why you couldn't do that over there. My point is this Malach Shulchan Rav would be Malach even according to Pichadosh. Now, Abem is to the Nishmas Adam that also brings such a Malach. The Nishmas Adam is in Klauch of Tesef Kotten Beis. He's coming to address this question I mentioned before the Mishnah Bura. Because it's brought down in Shulchan Aruch and Shem Hem Sifid Gimel. It says, Shoyven Esa Cheres, Ve'en Koren Esa Niyar, you're not allowed to rip on the Yar, Neishu Kemesak and Kli. The question is, why is it saying that ripping in the yard is always as Masak and Kli? Why is there a problem inside Korea? So he says, the Chayadim says, the Sarchloim had like Niki Korea, Eleva Dovish and Eschabra de Arigo. Wait for your begot, or Yadai Deva, Kamesha Kosa, Mafarak in the yard of the Bukis. Mashenki, when you're ripping a piece of paper that wasn't a Schaber, not two pieces of paper that you connected, but one piece of paper and ripping it, that is not a problem. So he says, the Esher, the Niyoshim is my name, Shoyim Masov and Lashach Kriya. So it depends what the Niyoshim is made of. Our Niyoshim could be made of things that were connected. But the Niyoshim they were talking about was made out of a son, and so it was one thing. So it could be the Bichadosh was talking about it was also Niyoshim that were more like our Niyoshim that was made out of something that was two things that were originally together. So they wouldn't, would, you wouldn't have this Heter uh, Shokhan Akhara. But upon him, so Nishmas Adam also wants to say this Malach, but then he says, then he says that that in Yishalmi is Mafur not like that. Because he says Mafur in Yishalmi that you can have Kareya even by or we don't have a Babli not like that. I'm all you have a shal of Babli in Yishalmi, we go with the with the Babli negative Sham. We don't have a Yishal Babli not like that. And so Mafur in Yishalmi that someone's Kareya or Yechai Mishan Kareya. So even though it's a nice for that I'm saying, but the Maiso, the Yishalmi is not like that. Now it's interesting to be a locho in Simi Shemem. Brings down the Shulchan Ocharav that says that maybe there's no is of Kareya only if something was nitva together, but something that was one thing and you're ripping it, there's no problem. It says like this It's Shim Mem, the Vermas Lain Shoifer. Masha wrote to Elchem and Akroinim. Lohitim is there. Lohitim in this halacha that the Shulchan Ocharav speaks about ripping a piece in New York and doesn't mention the problem of Korea, only when it talks about Medabic New Yorks, but ripping one piece of paper doesn't mention anything about Korea. So he says, Amasha Rotso, Elchman Achroin Loitzim is Ed Loy Shaykh Kriya, Kimadova Nitva Venerak, Shen is Dabic Begufen Rabin, Kinishoi Beyers, 
Dafka, like, like so Mishra Burs explains, where is this coming from? Because by Riyas and Mishkan, that was the case. There were, there were things that you might have it together. So that, that's the Makar of Shulchan Ocharav. So the Mishra Burs, hey, no, the Mavur be Yishal and Behed Yod, the Gamba or Shaykh Kriyo. So Mishnabura says that what the Shulchan Rav is saying, that Kri is Davka by Or, Davka by something that was two things that got connected, Mashiach and Or, or New York, that was one thing that's in New York, that was made out of Asavin, Shulchan Rav says there's no Isser of Kereya, and that's the Hetron of the Sept Or of Yechavis, Mishnabura says, it's connected to Bialoch, connected to the, 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 the Yishalmi. And it's very interesting, the Mishnabura says, Masharot Echem and Achrainim. What's Masharot Echem and Achrainim? He doesn't mention which Achrain. Now, Mishabura, anyone learns Mishabura will know that Mishabura and every single page brings down the Shulchan Achraf, Kamat. Kamat, and even when he doesn't even mention him, a lot of times the Stam Lush of Mishabura, it looks like from the Mishabura, that he had the Shulchan Achraf in front of him and he wrote it and he used his Loshan because Lush of Shulchan Achraf was a miracle Loshan. And here he doesn't mention his name. The, the, the answer is very simple because Shulchan Ochrav is very chashviyet. He doesn't want to mention his name and say that he said something connected to Yisham. So probably Shulchan Ochrav maybe had an eitzim, maybe he had a rifle in the bath and Alex Yisham. We don't know. Eilad Dain Lo Damashein of Rois. Mr. Bura says, I know one thing is I have Yisham and Alex that, and maybe he's not willing to go with the Shulchan Ochrav, and he doesn't even quote him by name. That's how shveri holds it is. Back upon him, but this is a mahalach of Shulchan Ochrav. So even though Mr. Bura slugs him up, but Shulchan Ochrav is kiblib in the Shulchan Ochrav, and he holds that there is a header of anything. That is not connected. It's just one piece, there wouldn't be any problem. That's the third Malach. And this Malach was saying would be Malach even for the Pichotish. The fourth Malach is a Mavur in the Shvis of Shabbos, in the, in the Psicha, Saif Per Gimel in the Psicha. The same thing in Chazin Chesko says the same idea. They say, that they say that when you have a piece of paper that's wrapped around food, wrapped around food, that piece of paper is bottle troichel. As often he says, I've got the great beggar or Gam Shaloya Maslit Viki Suru, Kamokam Korsha Pi Oichlin, the Tule Batli Matoyas Begad, the Nasta Betalin Loichlin, Kamoy Klipe Goisim. He tells us so similar to what we spoke about last week that the, the Machav brings down the cowboy, that if someone has Klipe Goisim, that you let it break it. That's obvious. But the Machav tells Su, who had then, if you have food that's in, in the Chaisolis, in baskets, you let it rip it to get to the food. And there's a wound shokhan orach. There's no problem of saisa. That we explained from Moshe, that Moshe holds that it's bottle to eichel. Mele does enich mechashiv is kalim. He's saying that's a svara to be matter who had in the malacha of kareya. That would be matter the malacha of kareya also. That's a similar idea. Shaitan has in chesko. And this mahaloch would be mahaloch for the pichodish also. Because it could be the pichodish mask of that. You have a cash as Bichodesh learned Kareya Al-Pechavis. He can learn this way. Because Bichodesh's case is talking about when they wrapped the Nayaris around the door to get into the tanner. About that, that case, you don't have the Svara of the Chazni Cheskel, Chazkel Bramsky, and the Shvisa Shabbos. They're only saying the Svara. When you have something that's directly around the food, there's a Svara that's bottled to Reichle. But if you have something that's just on the outside of the handle of the oven, and then inside is a pot, and in the pot is food, obviously you're not going to have that Svara. So Pichodesh could be his mask in for that Svar, and it could be, that's how we learned Pshat in Ora Pichovas. We said maybe he went with the Shulchan Acharav, but that's not clear because he's talking about New York. You know, it depends what happened. New York he's talking about, I don't know. I got him getting back to have a Shiloh. What, what happened to the Isaf Kareya? If someone would like to rip, someone wants to rip on Shabbos, um, something to get the food, a plastic big, paper big, or someone wants to Break a cane according to Bialocha. So we spoke about last week the problem of Saisa. The question is what happened to the problem of Korea? So we're saying the schlissel of the of this of this question is based on the Sefta Korea of Pichavis. And we masbo that first of all, we have to know we're dealing with Shah of the Raisa Rabon. So the Zikr, if something's considered a ticken, that's a shadow of the Raisa. That's Mafusha Shukhan Aruch, that someone's takes apart the Yoris that when this Dabik together, wife of Tikkin, that's a shadow of the Raisa. The question is if breaking something. To get food, is that called a tikkin or kilka? The pichot sheet is that's called a tikkin. And according to the sheet of the Shulchan Acharav, I mean, according to the sheet of the Chagam that's considered a kilka. So we have to insulate both Malchim. So according to the Mahalach of the Chagam so we said over Ramayisha and the Chaznish, both will matter since it's by and kilka. Ramayisha says, 
Chazal mat over here is Soich Shabbos. Chazanish says that since we're only dealing with Shalak Kilkul, we don't perceive that what I'm doing is a molocho of Kareya, just take a tempsa to get the food, to get to get their food. According to the pre obviously you can't say this smalach, because according to pre there's no heter. It's not considered a kalkal. So according to pre you would have to say one or other two malchim. Either you have to say the malach of or Kharab, that by or New York, there's no problem with Kareya. Either pre himself is talking about New York, maybe he's talking about you ripping it where they were in his dabik, or he's talking about New York that wasn't made out of Asovim. Or you could go with the svar of the Kazni Chesk and the Shviz Shabbos. They're saying that the hetter is because oichel, that's wrapping food, I'm not, I, I'm saying a wrapper that's wrapping food, or Shapir Chavis, is both of the oichel. And that's the Pshan de Sefta. The Pichodesh Kishtim with that, because Pichodesh is not talking about that's wrapping the food. It's talking about that's on the outside of the tunnel. So come to a full Mahalchim over here. Now there's obviously a big enough Kimina between the Mahalchim. According to Ramayisha and and the, and the Chaznish, that the head to the boyfriend kilkel means you have to rip the bag in a, in a way that it's kilkel. If someone's going to rip the bag in a way that you can still reuse the bag in, in an easy way, you let's say open up on top, you can still use the bag. Obviously, you can't look at that, that that's considered a mice kilkel. It has to be that we're looking at it, what you're doing to the bag is construct is considered destruction. I, the ticking that's happening, they're getting the food that they hold, that's, that's not true. We call like the sheet of the Chachem Tzinalek, the Pichach. But there has to be that in the, the bigger place, I'm doing a destructive act. According to the Shulchan Ocharav, it comes out, no. Even if I'm doing a ticket, I do a beautiful cut, as long as I'm not in a certain spot, it will be, be no problem according to Shulchan Ocharav because there's no Kareya by or. But the Shulchan Ocharav is Metzamsamos, what we're talking about. Only talking about or something else that's considered one piece. But if you, you want to disconnect so maybe if you have a big and a paper thing, maybe you could say it's considered like, or it's one thing. But if you have something, let's say, uh, uh, a milk cart and you want to open it up in a place that it was in topic, anything else that you want to open up in a place that it was connected, according to Shulchan Acharav, you're not going to have a heter. Then you have the, the heter of the Chazin Cheskor, the Chazin Bramsky, and the Shviz Shabbos, that heter is much more inclusive. That means that, according to them, doesn't have to be even kilkel. Any time that the tach is why I'm doing it, is to get to the food, it'll be mutter, and doesn't make a difference what type of material. So obviously, since we have a machlekes here, obviously you want to do something in a way that it could be to all the shittas. It should be done olive, boyf, and kilkel. Base, if you have something that you want to rip, if you have a question to rip it where they were connected, two, two parts of the of the paper, or two parts of the box, or rip it now we are connected. So some people look at here, think it's a, it's a mile to rip it where the, the two ends of the boxes were connected or glued together. Okay, that's a chesor. Because according to Shulchan Acharav, that's Kareya. But if you're ripping in a place that it wasn't connected, that's no Kareya. So it would be better to rip in a place that it wasn't connected. And then you have the Shri Shabbos hat, which gives you hat across the board. So it comes out, L'sakim Devreinu, Mitad Demloch of Sois, we spoke about, that an hour Kalim, that the Derek is a throw out. We have a heter, first of all, maybe Klebrius motor, maybe it's a Kli Mustaki, and, and Lamoisha says the heter of Chisolis. That's all mitad the Moloch of Soyser, mitad the Moloch of Kareya on things that there is Kareya, either bigs, paper bigs, or maybe like the sheet of the Bialoch, or even by tunicans and something else. Then you to, to take care of the problem of Kareya, you would have to do it by and Kilkul, and like Atchil, you should do it in a way that not the two places that they were connected to. to to uh, be maviach, the sheet of the Shulchan Acharav. And this is everything was discussed so far was Negev the Melacher of Sois and Kareya. The Bemis is you have to deal with always a Shiloh. You can't make a Pesach Yofa because then that's the Mishnah. Actually, it's Gabbal Asas Pesach Yofa. There can be a Shiloh Makapatish. But obviously, if you're doing a wife in Kilkul to take care of Palma Kareya, so obviously you're not going to have a Shiloh of a Pesach Yofa. There is another issue which we're not going to discuss now. It's a separate issue. The Chaznish has a, has a big problem that when you make Something that's a guf otum, something that's totally sealed. He holds whatever you do is considered a pesach yofa. That could be a separate issue which we're not going to talk about today. And then there could be another issue when you're dealing with opening packages is the problem of moichik. That means many times there is words written there, and then it's a problem to rip the words. It would have to be rip, um, you know, in between the words. Even if there's a picture of something, that could also be a problem. If it's a picture 
It doesn't have any mashmoyas, like just a design of something, you know, scribbles or something. That's not a problem. But any picture that has a mashmoyas, a picture of an animal, a picture of something else, that will also have a problem of ripping. So you would have to be careful to rip it in a way that you shouldn't have any iser of moichik. Okay. And the will stop here. And the other should have a lot of atzlachah.